from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for December 27, 2017. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the GBP USD, Great British Pound versus the US dollar for today's trade analysis. But first, it's important for me to note that this is holiday mode, holiday trading season. This time between Christmas and New Year's, there's lower liquidities, less traders in the market. We could see false moves or no movement at all. This just depends on uh, how the market feels during this period between Christmas and New Year's. So be very cautious with your trading. Otherwise, let's go ahead and take a look at this currency pair. As we see here on the daily time frame, we have been in a falling channel. You can see the two red lines up here, top right-hand corner of the long blue trend line. Uh, if I zoom out a little bit, you see that long blue trend line moving higher, and then there's that little channel top right-hand corner of the chart. Let's go ahead and zoom it in a couple of times, and now we can see that a little bit better. We've been falling lower highs, lower lows until recently. In fact, the past week, we've been just finding and settling out under resistance underneath the 1.3380-3400 level. This is the first attempt that we see today of it really seriously making some effort to break above the 134 level. We did see a little bit of an attempt here. It never stayed above it. Now we're seeing a real attempt to stay above 1.34, the red trend line of the trend channel, and really the blue shaded area. We need to be watchful and cautious, but definitely something to take note of. As long as it's above there, we could be looking at a breakout scenario for it to continue to pressure higher. First, Resistance target would be, of course, in the mid 134s. 134.45, 80 is the yellow shaded area. You can see historical resistance and support even back here with the black boxes, support there around that yellow zone, and even resistance here and here. So if you come over here to the right hand side, you know that that's your target. If you're going to buy it, you don't really want to buy too close to that yellow shaded area because it's limiting your potential profit. And of course, if it breaks above the yellow zone, we'd see more profit. But limit your potential profit the closer the closer it is to that yellow zone so how do you trade this on a breakout well I would think that if you want to target the yellow zone or higher and you want limited or smaller risk you want to buy low you want to buy at a lower point so really the best opportunity to buy is coming back down retracing back down towards 134 the problem is if it breaks back underneath 134, we could see this as a false breakout, sort of what happened up here at the yellow shaded area, false breakout. Let's take it down to the four hour time frame. And as we get down here, we see even here on the four hour, the market making a significant effort to get above the 134 level. My expectation is I will wait for this candle to close and maybe the next candle to make its dip back down. This is a classic breakout scenario. Breaks above, comes back down, dips, touches the support, and goes back up. We do that because that limits our risk. Our stop loss is underneath the 133.80 level. So if it stays above it, we don't expect it to get back underneath the blue shaded area 133.80, 134. So we need it to stay above, target the yellow zone, but we first off need to see it dip back down to improve our risk reward for the pound dollar today. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.